it's all good. I know what I'm doing. That's why it's called custom, you know? All right, we have internet in our new house. So it's time to start building my server rack. And I'll be doing that underneath the stairs. So stairs are right there. And this is going to be a TV here and some entertainment area over here like couches and so my server rack is going to be here i will have a server case switch playstation apple tv switch bot hub akara hub ufi security home station like all sorts of things are going to be here and uh, tv here just one cable probably or two so let's start building this is actually going to be my second time in my life that i'm building custom server rack slash media shelf for my house house i think i'll do a lot of things new this time just because how things went through when i started using everything so but what i know for sure is that i will build it like and just leave it as it is and then the way i use things eventually will show how to reconsider internals and connections and all the things in the server rack further on right now my job is to build it as a draft there's instruction have a bottom then probably i uh, need to add all these and then walls and then cover it up it's really hard to believe but i spent like 15 minutes building this thing and i never noticed this huge den that appears to be there since i unboxed this thing and yeah, the, the whole box was pretty rough when we, they delivered it, but I already had that couple of times where the box looks bad, but the product itself is okay. An amount of uh, protection I unboxed. I didn't even think about checking if everything is in a good condition. And uh, this is a huge reveal. You can kind of see where my mind starts to realize that, uh-oh, I have a problem. Uh oh so halfway through i realized that this product was delivered to me damaged you can see that the geometry of this is not really there i would say so do i want to bother with all the return and refund no it's all good i know what i'm doing that's why it's called custom you know the biggest problem I see is if the door will be able to close. See this? I think that should be straight line. Trust me, I'm a professional. Let's try to put the door on. Moment of truth. Okay, the door is on. So that probably means that I will not be bothered with uh, return and so on. But it doesn't really look good. Huh? I'd say there's no trouble in this world that the hammer can't fix, you know? What do you say, guys? Should I leave a bad feedback and expect replacement for this part or the whole case? Tech Mojo. I gotta say, it looks good. White color is definitely a win, but kind of a little bit sad. It'll do. So I completely forgot that my server is way bigger than this box and I intentionally bought this one because it's white and I want it white. Leave me alone. And I decided to just assemble it without the back wall. So now I need to deassemble it all just to remove the back wall. And that's folks what we call an open concept. Again, I knew that this is going to happen, but I either way wanted to have a, an open concept just to have more airflow and, and not to heat up things inside unnecessary. Oh, there you go.
This is TP-Link gigabit switch and it has 16 ports. It's way more than I need, but I needed more than four that are in my GigaHub router. Something in between is this, but it's not considered to be a rack mounted. What I will do is I will 3D print later on brackets to hold it somewhere here. That's how it's going to have a lot of space for every device to properly heat. So that's what I call draft for now is just like gonna stand like this just to have a quick access for all the tweaks that I'll be making for next month. Right now I just wanted to fire it up and connect all my smart devices that are already installed just to connect them and have a connection and have control operate. All right, now we're inside. So what I need to do is connect my main power. That's the way to a utility room and brought power here. Last thing to do is just to connect. So the final draft for today looks like this. The main thing and the main success is that it's working. Obviously I cannot put a GigaHub from Bell inside because it is a Wi-Fi router and a metal cage just worsened the Wi-Fi signal. So that doesn't make any sense to do that. Eufy hub is working. Akara Hub working, Akara Doorbell working, uh, TP-Link switch is switching, PS4 Pro is here and we're gonna drill this wall. This TV is going to be on that wall so everything's going to be here and my server is working and everything just needs to be cable managed and put in place. So stay tuned and subscribe.